What's up, y'all? It's your girl Vivian, aka Curly Rose, and today I'm gonna be reviewing the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Foundation by NYX, and I'm really excited. We're gonna see if this works for me. We're gonna see the details, the claims, um, and let's just go ahead and get into it. I need an extra long intro. If you want to see my thoughts and how the foundation worked for me, and also a wear test, and just make sure you continue watching. And the details of everything that I use that I didn't mention will be down below in the DB. So let's get into it. Okay, so let me zoom you in. <laughs> let me zoom you on. So I didn't do any found what the obviously I didn't do foundation. This is a foundation review. I didn't do any eyeshadow yet. Um, I am about to go somewhere. I don't even know what time it is I'm probably running late but oh I'm doing good on time look at that okay so anyway I'll do my eyeshadow later because I know I'm gonna do a very simple look if you watch me before you would know that I do everything as far as like my eyes and stuff first but I don't have time today so we'll figure it out but normally like if I'm doing a basic look I already know what I'm gonna do so I can do my foundation first if that makes sense but anyway so I'm using the shade honey the NYX can't stop won't stop foundation and I do have a Real Technique sponge a beauty blender and I have a Morphe Y6 brush so on this side I'm going to use a brush and on this side I'm just gonna go ahead and use my beauty blender and this is the authentic this is actually a beauty blender. And I'm going to take these earrings off. I'm going to go ahead and just start off going in with a brush. Because I just want to see how the foundation applies. I will go ahead and go through the claims like as I'm doing my makeup. Okay, so I'm going to take one pump of the NYX Can't Stop One Stop Foundation on the back of my hand. It is a very generous amount of one pump. So I'm just going to stick with that for now. The foundation does claim to be lightweight full coverage 24 hours and it does come in 24 shades and it looks like it is oxidizing and please excuse my mother if you can hear her because I told her that I was filming and she did not care so therefore she's gonna be in my video so that's just one pump I definitely want any more that did not do enough for me um I don't know yet if it's full coverage let me look I don't think off I'm looking in the mirror and off first oh yeah I would say it's medium to buildable coverage maybe on camera it might look like it's full coverage but like this area right here is pretty dark and I can still see it seeping through the foundation but I'm just going to continue applying anyway. And as you can see, it does oxidize from this to this. And it is my shades. Your girl is happy. NYX says that this foundation claims to not transfer and it controls shine and mattify your complexion. So I did put on primer before I started filming. And I will tell you guys what primer I put on. I used the prime perfection milani face primer hydrating and pore minimizing yes it's dirty but i use that um on my face before i applied the foundation and so far first impression it is mattifying like i said i don't feel like it's super full coverage it is covering enough i'm really not a full coverage person so for me this actually is a plus i don't mind that it's not super full coverage because I don't really want that. Now, I do have sensitive skin. And NYX did say um, for this foundation, it claims to work with any skin type, oily combination, and sensitive skin. So, we will see. I will be doing a wear test as well. So, two pumps covered half of my face with the brush. But I didn't really apply any foundation on my nose. So... This is a little different. I'm going to have to apply the rest of this with a sponge. Because I have my piercing and it's fairly new, I don't want to just go over my nose uh, with the brush. Because I don't want any foundation to get trapped in there. Okay. Oh my god. Yes, my face broke the hell out, by the way. So wash your face, kids. 
That's what happens when I don't wash my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Beauty Blender and I'm just gonna take another pump, same hand, and I'm just gonna use the tip of the beauty sponge and apply the foundation. Well, obviously I am gonna need more pumps on this side because the sponge does eat up the foundation. Yeah, like I said, this is not full coverage. It's more full coverage with a brush than it is a sponge. I mean, I'm not completely done, but all first glance, like, yeah, no. Like, I don't have any more foundation. And, like, on this side, I have, on both sides of my mouth, I have, like, darker pigmentation right here. And on this side, it's still dark, but it's not as noticeable as this side in person. So, I would definitely recommend using a brush um, and then at first maybe and then going over your foundation with a sponge just to like blend everything in and lock it in place but all first glance yeah I would definitely use a brush mama I am filming and you are so loud no and I'm gonna put it in here <sighs> anyway so so far yes this foundation definitely definitely does match but like I said with the brush it is more full coverage I am seeing that for sure um so I would definitely opt out of using a sponge I'm just gonna kind of take what's left um on my hand and just use my brush to kind of go ahead and add the rest of the product um, like I said, it I definitely feel like it is more medium to full coverage. I wouldn't say it's completely full coverage, but at the same time, I need to really look. So, it does mattify, as you guys can see. Hopefully, you guys can see without getting too personal. Um, and if you don't know, my neck is discolored, so the foundation does not match my neck. But if I back all the way up... It does match my chest and my hands are darker, but like, you know, somewhere in there. So this does match me. Um, hopefully on camera it looks really good, but it looks really good to me, honestly. Um, I do have the NYX uh, drop, foundation drops, and this is this will be the second foundation that I've ever used from NYX or NYX. I like to say NYX, but it looks really good, like, honestly. I'm just going to apply a little more in the areas that I feel I need more coverage on this side and then we will jump into the rest of my face and I will do the rest off camera just to save some time and getting to the rest of my thoughts. But also I'm going to take a flashback test to see before I go ahead and add my powder and contour and everything just to see if the foundation itself has any flashback before setting everything with powder okay so foundation is on let me zoom you guys out a little bit so this is what the foundation is looking like and I am in natural lighting so this is exactly how it looks it may look a little different on camera um so yeah let me go ahead and reset my eyebrows because they are moving sweetie and we cannot have that happening okay so eyebrows look like they're somewhat put together who knows who really cares okay so anyway foundation looks good oh let me go ahead and take a picture and we shall see darling we shall see okay so per the picture I do not see any kind of flashback um I'll just insert it so you guys can see it I do have like my uh, under eye eyebrows the concealer is a little bright so you do notice that but even when I zoom in I do not see any flashback it is a lighter foundation so I mean I notice that it's lighter but I wouldn't say that that's flashback but I'll insert it you guys can see it somewhere right here so I'm just gonna move on and do the rest of my face okay y'all so this is my finished look you know what I'm saying I went ahead and did my face and um sweetie <sighs> got a lot to say <laughs> first of all first I like the foundation it's blendable it 
didn't really stick to anything. I mean, like, aside, like, it stick, stuck to my face, but, like, everything blended seamlessly. The only thing I have a problem with is, like, around my mouth, it just feels so dry. Like, I used the hydrating primer prior, and I used the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, and I've used both before without a problem, but I don't use matte foundations anyway, so... Yeah, everything blended together. I used my ColourPop concealers, um, didn't have an issue. I used the Patrick Star powder. Everything looks fine to me. Um, girl, yes, like, now that I've done my full face of makeup, I feel like it is more on the full coverage side than it is like light coverage because I'm just not really used to my face being so beat in a sense so I have to kind of get adjusted to that if that makes sense when it comes to creasing I don't know we will see because I am like I said gonna do the aware test but this foundation does oxidize on the website you can get the foundation like you can get matched I think by depending on what you used before um because in other shades, I think I'm something else in the NYX. So, Alyssa did a really good job because, like, this literally matches me perfectly. And me and her are the same shade. So, I'm very proud of her. Even though I don't know her, she's literally, like, my favorite YouTuber. So, I had to do this review um, just to see if everything was popping or if it wasn't. And um, I really like everything. I forgot to mention that the foundation retails for... $14.99, you can buy it at Ulta, you can buy it at NYX stores, and Ulta.com, and NYX.com. I don't know the actual website, but I think that's it. Like I said, just to recap, I do like the foundation. It is more uh, medium to full coverage, but once you apply your whole face, it kind of looks more on the full side. Um, but I still see certain things peeping through, like my dark circles. Not dark circles, my dark spots. Um, and a little bit of my dark circles, but it's not anything too bad. I prefer this kind of coverage. I don't like to be full, full beat because I have, you know, discoloration, you know, being black. Some people have it, some people don't. And I just have to work with what I have to work with. Like, I really feel like it makes me look really good. I haven't worn makeup in a minute, so... I just feel like it's an even skin tone. It is more of like the drying side around my nose too. I did want to mention that. Um, it is drying because it is a mattifying foundation. Would I wear this every day? No, but I feel like maybe in the summertime I probably would. That's why I'm going to do the wear test. And depending on how it is, like after I leave home and everything, we'll see. So for right now, I do like the foundation. But don't quote me just yet because I haven't done the wear, wear test. But I definitely do feel like I will wear the foundation again. It just wouldn't be my go-to because it is mattifying. If they came out with a dewy one, yes. On everything, yes. I have nothing playing. I don't know why I have my earpod in. But yeah, so I would definitely recommend getting it to try it out at least. It's nothing but $15. I feel like for a drugstore foundation, it's really good. I mean, this is drugstore, like $15. This is why I film when no one is home. And a lot of times I can't film because she's always here. And, like, I've told her three different times I was filming. She does not care. Like, my mom just does not care. It's all right. I'll be moving out soon. Anyway. So, yeah. I'm going to head and jump into the wear test. Okay, y'all. So, I don't know if you can tell. Okay, yeah. This is better. This is what the foundation looks like. My man is holding the camera for me because I didn't bring anything like a dumbass but anyway so um I do have creasing around my mouth um I put this foundation on at 12 30 I believe if it wasn't 12 30 I know when I looked at my clock it was 11 57 but I wasn't done with all my makeup so officially 12 30 p.m and right now it's 5 23 p.m highlight is still on I'm shocked because it normally goes off Everything else looks good. Um, it's still just very dry around my mouth. I'm ready to take this off. So, um, yeah. But um, I gotta go because his arm is hurting. <laughs> and he's tired. 
But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Try this foundation if you really, like, I guess was rocking with the video. I do like it. My final thoughts are I do like it. It's just very drying around my mouth. So I'm just going to have to use a uh, more, like, really, really hydrating primer. And, um, yeah, that's basically it. Make sure you like the video if you liked it. And subscribe and check out my other videos. And I'll have them, like, somewhere right here. And hopefully, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Curly Rose is out.